Well, hello there. This is uh, Dreamy D here. And for those of you who know me, and for those of you who don't, well, hello. Um, yeah, I just had a thought the other day. I was reminiscing about one of my favourite stories that I like to tell. Do you know when you're at a party, you always end up in the kitchen where all the beer is, and you're so drunk and you start talking to people and start telling them stories, and then they all roll their eyes and say, well, we've heard this a million times before, but you still carry on and tell them the story anyway. Well, this is one of those stories. And every time I tell this story, no one ever believes me for some reason, I don't know. But it's all related to, to my old band Blood Money that I used to play guitar with years ago. And, um, well, I won't go into detail. Check out Blood Money online and you'll know what I'm talking about if you don't already know. But anyway... <clears throat> um, it was relating to um, a particular radio station in the UK and uh, a Friday night rock show um, not BBC Radio 1 Tommy Vance rock show this was a local one in um, Manchester where I used to live and it was a guy called Chris Tetley he used to do this um, Friday night rock show and he used to start just as the fr this is the Radio 1 on BBC uh, the Tommy, this is the Tommy Van show was finishing, <clears throat> you switch channels and then this one will be on about 1am or something like that. It's <laughs> come quite late, you have to be dedicated to hear it. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. <clears throat> but um, anyway, um, Man of War, by, by pure chance, had played Manchester that night. And... Uh, They'd been taken along to the studio after their show to be interviewed on Chris Tetley's uh, rock show. And at the same time, <laughs> this is amazing. I really wish I'd had this on tape so I could prove it. But at the same time, um, Chris Tetley was playing tracks from our new album, Battle Scarred. Um, this one. This one here. <laughs> yes, I've got a copy of it. Oh, that's not the right cover. Where's the front? Oh, I don't know. I've not got the front cover at the moment. Anyway, so, um, <clears throat> um, I've lost my track now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it was playing tracks from the album, Battle Scars. And, um, uh, he was asking Man or War, who were in the studio, to choose tracks. Which I thought, this is amazing that Blood Money, uh, Blood Money had been picked out by Man O' War and um, they were picking all the tracks saying they were really good and uh, they actually corrected Chris Setley on one track um, track Caligula and uh, he was saying oh okay this next track's called Caligula and uh, one of the band I can't remember which one said it but one of the band said hey, it's Caligula man it's Caligula um, and anyways they went oh I'm sorry okay and we're going <laughs> anyway <clears throat> That's not what I'm here to tell you about. They were looking at the album sleeve, and I said I can't can't show you the picture I'm talking about because I don't know what's happened to the sleeve. Um, there's a picture of us all on the back, and we're all doing silly things like holding samurai swords and uh, chainsaws and stuff like that, and showing our <clears throat> heavy chests. Yes, it was a long time ago. I wouldn't dress like that now. I'd look really silly. <laughs> we looked silly back then, but it was the 80s, you see. And um, no one better than I would. So, Man of War are looking at these pictures and they're listening to the tracks. And uh, one of them said, Hey man, these guys are real metal. They're not false metal. They're real men. To which I thought, oh, it does me heart good to hear this from Man of War, who used to get on stage wearing furry underpants. So, you know, we've been uh, praised by the best. I just thought I'd let you know that. You don't care, do you? <laughs> I've got lots of stories like that, but I'll save them for another time. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. <laughs> I shall see you later. Bye.